I'm joined today by Ambassador Frank Wisner, former U.S. Ambassador to Zambia, Egypt, India, and the Philippines, and the leader of IRI's delegation in Timor-Leste. Thank you for joining us today, Ambassador Wisner. Mary, thank you. Pleasure to be with you. Can you begin by telling us a little bit about these, what these elections mean for Timor-Leste? The elections are very important for Timor-Leste. They're the third set of elections being held this year. The previous election set up the presidency, and now it's the parliament. The parliament is the lawmaking body of the country. It also forms the government. This is a modified Westminster system. The Timor elections will produce a parliament, a new government, and that in turn will set the stage for the UN's departure at the end of the year. We all remember Timor has been under UN supervision now for over 10 years, and it's now set to graduate, if you will, into a stable, democratic country. IRI will be deploying 13 teams throughout the country for Saturday's elections. Can you tell me a little bit about the role they will play in the process? Yes, IRI will deploy 13 teams to every district in Timor-Leste. And it's really a remarkable team. It's not just Americans, it's truly international. We have Egyptians and Ugandans and Indians and Spaniards and Australians. We are truly an international expression. But at core, we are an American representation. People know we are speaking on behalf of the broad interest of the United States as well as the world community in the success of this election. So as the teams go out, they'll be visiting polling stations, they'll be watching the vote take place, they'll be watching the vote count as it proceeds, they'll be watching the vo broader tabulation. But what they'll be trying to do at heart is make certain of the freeness, the fairness, and the orderliness of the process so that they can add their voices to the broad attestation that Timor-Leste has passed the mark, has produced a government on, on its own, through its own means, and is set now to take the next step as a stable democratic nation. Why do you think these elections are important for the international community? Timor-Leste is a, an important gamble on behalf of the international community. This is a country that was 500 years under Portuguese colonial rule, 29 years under Indonesian occupation, and it was a violent, violent struggle. And then these years of independence marked by severe civil unrest about mid-course. Timor-Leste now has to step forward and prove that the work of the international community, strongly supported by the United States, can actually produce a stable outcome, an outcome of a new nation born of international care and still democratic and still able to see to the needs of its people. So a lot's at stake. The reputation of the UN system, the reputation of the United States in helping start a new democracy and help achieve peace and stability in the region, much is, it, much is on the line. Thank you so much for joining us today and for sharing your expertise. Thank you.